here's the thing. One of my all-time favorite shows is called Inside the Actors Studio, and this program features TV and film actors being interviewed by the great James Lipton. Ever since I've seen the show, I've wanted to be on the show, and I always wondered why theater actors weren't primarily focused on. So I'm starting a new thing called Inside the Blackter Studio, and it's going to feature minority actors that are on the stage that are Canadians. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we have great actors here too. <laughs> so, my very first guest is Mr. Marcus Nance. Um, this is a new venture for me, so please forgive any kinds of flubs or starisms that you might encounter. Um, and please, fix yourself a drink. I'm gonna make myself a drink. <laughs> so, first things first. Where were you born? I was born originally in California. I moved to Canada in 1993 and immigrated here in 98. And I uh, became a Canadian citizen in 98 and was very uh, fortunate that, that this is the home I was drawn to. I loved it so much when I came here to work and uh, I wanted to stay. That's very so beautiful. Yes. And, but your parents are from California. My you grew up there. Well, my parents are from the southern states. Okay. South Carolina. South Carolina. Mm. Yeah, so, so there's some southern bell in my blood. <laughs> and so what did your parents do? Well, my father was a preacher. A Baptist preacher, a minister. Preacher son. Preacher's kid, PK. <laughs> and my mother was a teacher at the middle school in town. Lovely. And she taught history and English. Yes. And did you like the fact that your parents um, had these types of jobs? I mean, you didn't go into them, so. No, I didn't. I wanted to be a teacher originally. I thought I was going to be a teacher. I thought I was going to be a music teacher. And I ended up just wanting to be on the stage. Not only is Marcus an amazing actor, but he's a brilliant singer. I mean, come on! I mean, uh, your voice is like friggin' butter. Yeah, it's so beautiful. You know it is! You have to know! By the grace of God, let's talk about it! So, when did you start singing? Oh my goodness, I started... I grew up singing in the church. So, and I really think... That's, I don't know, probably any church, but in the black church particularly, there's something in the sound of the music. Mm -hmm. And there's something so deep and spiritual and real about it that I really think that was kind of the first place I learned to make the music mean something. You yes. know what I mean? Yes, I do know. Because you're really singing about a being that is, is everything to you. I think that a lot of the times it's an assumption that gospel is a sound, but it's, it's actually more of a feeling. So let's speak about that a little bit. Um, you started singing gospel, but you are actually an opera singer. Well, yes. And the church I grew up in was actually kind of a mix of, of what might be sort of gospel -y pop, but there was also a lot of like cantatas and a lot of... That's uh, amazing. A lot of... Uh, it wasn't necessarily classical music, but, but high church music. Mm -hmm. So it was a very interesting combination. And a number of opera singers came out of that congregation. You're kidding. Not just myself. There were about four or five of us. That's amazing. Growing up together, and we went to school and, and studied That's, opera. And are you in touch still? Yes. Yeah. That's so beautiful. Yeah, that's really great. That's really beautiful. Yeah. And so then you started singing all forms in church, mm -hmm. but then you decided to go to school. Yes, I actually went to school as a clarinet major. <laughs> so I was going to later ask Marcus if there was anything that we needed to know about yeah, him. So people, don't, people don't know that anymore. Interesting. It's, uh, yeah, people from high school don't know me as a singer. Because in high school, really? I was a major, major clarinet player. I won all these awards. I was in all state bands and orchestras, and I did a lot. And then I went to university. Uh, yeah, secrets. Then I went to university on a scholarship to study clarinet. Um, and what are you in, talking about? Yes, I was in a woodwind quintet scholarship group. We toured uh, through uh, Asia and America. Marcus, and, uh, nobody knows this. Nobody. My fourth year. We know this, guys. Now you know this. <laughs> in my fourth year of university, I was playing in the pit orchestra for oh, what was it? The gondoliers, I think. Gilbert and Sullivan, the gondoliers. And I was so envious of the people on the stage. I thought, well, that looks so much more fun to be on the stage than under the stage. So um, the next year, I auditioned for their opera um, because I was studying voice just for fun, just to get my church music to be better. So the next year I auditioned and I got the lead. I was the judge, the judge, again. Interesting. I was the judge in um, uh, Trial by Jury, another Gilbert and Sullivan. So, and so wait, you, you were studying classical training, specifically classical voice, on the side. On the side. As a hobby. As a hobby. 
Right on. And so then you auditioned for the opera company that you were playing in the orchestra of. I did. Yeah. And won a role. This is why he's I mean, my first guest. I think some of them hated me. <laughs> I'm just saying. I simply adore Mr. Marcus Nance. Tune in to hear more of his story on Inside the Blackter Studio.